What's going on, everybody? Stupid enough, Sunday Sunday. Welcome back to another TCG opening. And today we have these two. We have two mystery power boxes. I was at the uh, store doing a little bit of Christmas shopping. I went to the card section to see what they had, see if there's anything I want to open for the channel. I found these two. Uh, the reason I scooped these up is because mystery power boxes became like a big thing to open on YouTube back like last year, early 2020, late 2021. And uh, YouTubers bought them all. <laughs> YouTubers bought the shit out of these things, and the reason being was because you have a chance to get vintage packs. Now these vintage packs can range from a base set booster pack like you see on here, to like something from 5th gen. So, because I have gotten vintage packs out of here before, but all the ones I've gotten were from 5th gen, nothing like this, but it is possible to get something like a uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, uh, Undaunted, or a base set booster pack. They're seated in one in every ten, I guarantee you what it is, they have like one booster box of like base set or like older packs like car gold, soul silver, and like they just kind of like have a mixed bag of like stuff that's vintage from fifth gen that's still worth money, and then stuff like this. It wouldn't surprise me if sixth gen is in here, honestly. Like you know the evolution sets, which I wouldn't be mad about if we pulled an evolutions pack. So rather than cucking you guys and being like, oh, I'm gonna open one now and one later, I'm opening them both now. And also, I want to point out something. When I found this one. This one's already kind of open. <laughs> So this is already torn, you can see from the side it's either caved in or someone like opened it up. I'm really hoping that this isn't like one that somebody uh, repackaged at the store. I really hope that's not the case with this one. I, like this one's the most speed up. They only had this one and the other one I have here. Those are the only two they had left and I bought both so we're going to find out. And get this, oh there we go. Also another thing I want to touch on with these videos, I apologize for the mic quality. I know in the last video the mic quality wasn't the best. Especially when it comes to opening the packages with my voice, with the microphone on this little camera I got here. I'm doing the best I can. Uh, I don't really have any ways of uh, adding another microphone to this camera that I know of. I don't think there's a way. So uh, I'm going to try and see if I can get a new camera or like maybe like set up a thing where I can open these up from my computer with a GoPro or something. I need, I need to find something better, man. We're going to start with this one because this one's the sketchiest of them. I'm going to be real. I, I, this one's also beat up, but it's like it's crammed in the back of a shelf beat up. This is just like possibly resealed. So we're going to see what we got. All right, there's, oh yeah, it comes with a code card. Anybody wants it? This is a uh, mini portfolio two pack Garatina. I don't know what that is. We have Darkness Ablaze, Battle Styles, and Vivid Voltage. Now, now it does only come with three booster packs, and then there's the Chase of the Vintage. So I, I'm not, I, I don't know what I'm expecting here. All right, let's go ahead and get the second one open. Hopefully we get something a little bit better than this one. Again, three booster packs and a online code card. These ones, oh, I'm feeling something heavier. What the hell? Okay. Uh. Here is the code. This is, I don't know what this is for. Uh, oh shit, this is an old code card. This is an X and Y code card. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what this is for. It doesn't say on these. This is whenever they didn't print them out, but this is from 2013. If anybody scoops that up, please let me know what you've got. We have Vivid Voltage, Vivid Voltage, Another Darkness of Blaze. No, uh, stand, no uh, chase pack here, but... We do get some packs that I've been wanting to open for a minute, so let's go ahead and bust these open. I'm going to start with these cardboard ones, because uh, I want to get these cardboard ones. Actually, we're going to do Darkness of Blades last. We're going to do Vivid Voltage first. All right, Vivid Voltage. We're going. I think the card to get out of this one is Fat Pikachu. Rainbow Fat Pikachu. That's what we want. If I can bust it open. There we go. All right, God... Damn it, I forgot that they don't fix these. Son of a bitch. Alright. I forgot. Alright, we got that. There's no point in really, like, going through these. It's super slow, like, other than the art. The artwork is nice, but... Goddamn... Ooh, look at that Charizard, though. The artwork is nice and all, but... When you know that... Like, whenever they color code what your pulls are, not really much of a point. Crack this bad boy open. There we go. Now let's not show the code card this time. Okay, here we go. Here's the code card for you guys. One, two, three, f what the fuck? I thought there was like some smudge on this one. One, two, three, four. Wait, there is. Do you guys see this? On the back of my card? You, does that show up on camera? These little white specks? What the fuck is that? Don't tell me this is a real sealed pack. I'm gonna be pissed. We got 
an energy, another energy. We got Shuckle, Cramorant, Cottony, Mudbray, Slugma, Wismer, Execute. The reverse is Xerneas. I like that Xerneas. And the rare, regular rare Ninjask. That's slightly concerning. That right there genuinely concerns me for the validity of these packs. Let's crack open another one. I'm going to only show the numbers this time so that way people don't get to just snipe the code from any butt. I fucked up somewhere. We got Mudbray. There's the energy. We got Galvantula. We got Swallow. League Staff. Poochiana. Charmander. Chatot, Joltik, the reverse is B, Bay, however you pronounce her, and a rare, regular rare Metagross. This is not looking good for my purchase decisions regarding these two mystery power packs. Not only did we not get the cards that, or the packs that we were like hoping to get, but like, we're not even getting anything good. All right, we're gonna do Darkness Blaze last. So for now, open up Battle Styles. I think the card to get out of Battle Styles is the Alt Art Tyranitar. Open this up. If I can get the cards out, Jesus, there we go. Son of a bitch, man, why? Why are they so inconsistent? Why? It doesn't make any sense. They're so inconsistent. I'm so, dude, I'm so glad that in uh, later sets of Loving Sword and Shield, uh, the uh, Shining Fates, they're all the same. They're all the same. It's the same, it's consistent, this is dumb. I hope to Christ that when the Scarlet and Violet sets come out, they make them consistent like they did in the uh, Shining Fates sets. Because this is annoying. It's annoying to be able to see, like, what card you're gonna get. Like, how good of a pull are you gonna get? That's, that, that's dumb, Pokemon. Why would you do that? Alright, we're gonna bust this one open. Yeah. You know what's weird to me? I don't see... Uh, booster packs like this in stores anymore with like the cardboard top specifically in Walmart I don't see that anymore you see I see them loose like this and like a little kiosk thing which is good better in my opinion because like uh, you're using less garbage and like you can you don't have to feel like you're having a stack this fucking big whenever you have like three packs but it's just weird I haven't seen those in a minute all right I'm gonna be extra careful Okay, there's the Mareep. So now if I do this... Okay, the code is this way. So we're just going to show the numbers so that way people can't snipe it with the QR code. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. To the front. Flip it around. We got an Energy. We got Flaffy. Ariados. Familiar Bell. Mareep. Snubble. Tauros. Rickety. Galarian, Mr. Mime. Our reverse is a Grimer, and the rare a Hollow Decidui. You know what? With the with, with with the pools that we've been getting, I'll take a Hollow. I'll take a Hollow. Oh boy, sorting all these is gonna be fun, isn't it? Last Darkness Ablaze pack. Can we end on a good note? Can we get one V card, please? All right. So flip this one around because uh, this one's stupid. Because again, inconsistent as shit. Three, four, to the front. Flip it around. We have Water Energy, Big Parasol, Toxapex, Parasect, Snubble, Melton, Bound Sweet, Nicket, Lavatar, the reverse is a Pan Simeon, and a rare, regular rare Mel Metal. Wait, hold on a minute. This was the code card that we got. This is the code card that we got. It's white on the back. This doesn't make sense. I got—I didn't get a good card. I got a regular fucking rare. Is it a hollow? I can't tell. No, it's not a hollow. I got a white code card for a normal rare. Well, this is it. This is the best thing I pulled tonight. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't expect much going into these to begin with. Like, you know, the best case scenario would have been I pulled a base set, you know, booster pack. But, you know, I would have liked not even an expensive V or EX or anything like that. Just just something up higher up than a holographic. I would have liked that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. A couple of things you can do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. It helps you. It helps me as a whole.
I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Take bars, little man.